Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Today, I'm just going to do a vlog. <laughs> I've got a few things to talk to you about and, <clears throat> excuse me, still not better. Um, I think this is going to be going on for a while. From what I'm un understanding, there's a little bit of long haul kind of stuff that goes along with um, having been sick. <clears throat> I guess uh, I got to be coughing for a while, you know, stuff like that. But I'm, I'm like, I feel fine, except I'm still weak as a kitten. Uh, and then I've got this nasally garbage going on. But uh, other than that, I'm feeling okay. Uh, it's <clears throat> taking um, a lot longer to do things for me. Uh, I mean, it's taking a lot longer to do things. <laughs> Apparently my brain's not working yet either. Because <laughs> um, I'll get up and I'll do something. And then I'm absolutely exhausted. And then I'll have to sit down, lay down, whatever. Uh, like this morning, the bird feeder, we got this, one of these big, long bird feeders. I got it from Costco. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It's not. Because... If that thing gets wet, the bird seed is just destroyed. And <clears throat> I actually did something that's kind of funny. Uh, a couple of years ago, I bought this package from China that's all dog collars, um, like cones, like for dogs that have had surgery or whatever. And they're, they're all different sizes of dog cones. I've got a ton of these things. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. The reason why I bought them was because I was I had this epiphany that I was going to make covers for them. Uh, and when I, my next door neighbor that I had before, she was a sewer and she made dog stuff. And I thought this would be a great idea. Her and I will collab, get some material, make covers for them, sell them. So that they're not just these ugly dog collars, you know, it, it, it didn't pan out. So now I got dog collars up to my yin yang. So anyway, on this bird feeder, it's got like a, a little um, housing, but it's not big enough. And so when we had all that rain, we had like just absolute torrential downpours of rain. Uh, <laughs> I decided I was going to put one of these dog collars over top of the bird feeder so that it was protecting the food. Uh, great idea, in theory. <laughs> but, and then we got all the snow and the icicles and the, oh, it was just a mess. At any rate, why was I talking about that? Oh, yeah. So I went out today. I was looking at these birds trying to eat this food and I felt so bad. And I was like, I don't want these birds getting sick. So I went out there and I took this bird feeder down and I dismantled the whole thing, cleaned it all out. Uh, <clears throat> I took my hummingbird feeders, cleaned them, <clears throat> put some new um, stuff in there. I have these other suet feeders. I put some suet in there, fresh suet. And then I have this other bird feeder. I put a bunch of seed in that. They're all really happy, but I'm freaking exhausted. Just doing that was enough to KO me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm so done. <laughs> Our house has fallen to pieces since I've been sick. I can't even stand it. It's It, it needs to be vacuumed. The floors need to be done. Um, the house needs to be tidy. I, I haven't been able to tidy the house since Christmas because <clears throat> I've been so sick and George doesn't care. He's just like, whatever, it's lived in. And I'm just, I'm going absolutely bananas. Our housekeepers, I've been keeping them away. They usually come every two weeks. I've, I've told them, no, absolutely not. Do not come to this house until we're better. So I haven't had anybody come in and clean the house since before Christmas and <clears throat> I'm just I'm I'm losing my mind 
losing my mind. So I'm trying to do a little by little. And of course, when I go and I sweep the floor, then George comes in with his shoes, right? <laughs> I go and clean the kitchen and then George puts his dirty dishes all over the place. And then there's, you know, peanut butter all over the counter. And there's, it's just a constant, constant battle that I just can't fight right now. So it's like to hell with it. Whatever. That was a long winded version of telling you that I'm still tired, <laughs> that this cold is still, <coughs> excuse me, kicking my butt. But anyway, okay. So a few things have happened uh, since the vlogmas that I did, <clears throat> but I haven't been able to film it because, you know, I'm sick. Um, if you remember, uh, Rosalie from Yarn It Out and I did uh, the 25 Days of Blissmas together. And at the very end, um, she had sent me a gift card from Amazon to make up for some gifts that weren't in the box. Um, I showed a picture of what I was going to be purchasing and it's a double, a double yarn holder. Well, I got it <clears throat> and it's from, from Brava. I got it on Amazon. <clears throat> Bra Brava, Brava, is that right? Bar Barva, Barva. Anyway, it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And they both spin. <clears throat> They're both on spindles. So, um, why did I buy this? Um, not exactly sure. I've been wanting one for a while. I've got a single one that I use when I'm doing tutorials, <clears throat> but um, I've been getting into do some thinner yarns. So I thought, you know, instead of having two yarn balls rolling around my house <clears throat> as I'm trying to chase them, uh, why not just get one of these? Now, they're kind of hard to find, really. Uh, on Etsy, there's probably more. But uh, this is the only one that I found on Amazon. And I love my Amazon. I'm guilty. But lately, Amazon, because of um, the Christmas and because of our roads and not being able to get packages here, this took forever to get here. This should have been a two day delivery, three days tops. Um, I ordered this before Christmas and it just got here. Uh, and that's been happening with all of our delivery stuff. Like I've, st I've got stuff that I've been, you know, I've had ordered since back then, since before Christmas and it's not here. So things are dwindling in right now, but now we're having some real issues with our border crossings and trucks and uh, crazy stuff. Um, they want all the truck drivers vaccinated to come into Canada <clears throat> and there's a huge fight happening. So now we're concerned that Trucks aren't going to be able to come across the border, which means no food, no, like everything. Transport Canada just goes stop. And we're just like, oh my God, what are we going to do? And then they've got to try and get, um, some of them have to try and get through the Coquihalla. And oh my good Lord, it's, it's a, a, a shit show here in Canada. But anyway, so it's taking our packages a lot longer to get here, um, which is really sad because I pay for Prime, for Amazon Prime. And <clears throat> I mean, granted, it's only like $8, but still, you know, like we pay for that for a reason and everything's all screwed up. So anyway, uh, so I finally got this. Uh, what am I going to do with it? 
uh, well, I mean, I don't know if you remember, but I've got like lots of stuff that I like yarn, um, like the, this stuff that's like a one, <laughs> you know, I got this stuff, which is like a two, right? This is not what I do. I, I do bigger yarns. But lately, I don't know, I've been getting some thinner stuff. So I'm wanting to try to mix and match a little bit. So this, this ball winder, well, not ball winder, ball, yarn holder is going to help out, right? So it should be fun. So thank you, Rosalie. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, before I forget. Um, George went to the post office box about a week ago and I got a Christmas card and I'm so sorry. Um, <clears throat> I, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to show this, but <clears throat> this came from Amanda and St. Petersburg. And so here we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Um, she has her own channel. Uh, from my family to yours. Hope you're having a wonderful season. Um, and a great new year. This is her card. And she sent me this beautiful stitch marker. Isn't that pretty? And there's the stitch marker. It's got a little... Isn't that pretty? Okay, now her... I'm going to put this down in the description box. Um, her channel's name is Obsessive Crochet Lady. Okay. Um, I'm going to put her channel name down below. And she also has a Facebook page and she's an Etsy. So I'm going to put all of that down below so you can go check her out. So thank you so much, Amanda. I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long um, to show this. And thank you so much for the beautiful stitch marker. So go check out her Etsy page and help support a yarny friend. Um, what else? Oh, um, I just got this. This is something that I saw. I think I saw it on Instagram and I think I saw it on Facebook, you know, those ads. Well, I found, <laughs> I'm a sucker for that sometimes. I've been burned a lot by them, but I thought, what the heck, I'll try it out. These are, uh, I believe they're hand carved. They, well, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, they come in all different kinds of shapes. But this is a maple leaf, or it's supposed to be. And it's a um, shawl pin. So um, they're made from wood. And I got three of them. But I thought they would be really cute on a shawl. So I thought, what the heck? I'm just going to get them. <laughs> Why not? It's not very often you see stuff like that in a maple leaf. So I grab, grab it if I can. Okay. What else? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Oh my God, what's her name? Crojo. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm totally, I've totally blanked it. Oh, uh, Crojo Corner. Yeah. Crojocorner.com. She has a YouTube channel. She makes um, content creator planners 
and um, video planners and stuff like that. And I thought, I'm going to get one because, you know, I had this big plan oh, that just completely fell apart when I got sick. I wanted to revamp my channel. I wanted to be more consistent with videos, um, which is a very big challenge for me because I suck at commitment. Um, I don't like to be tied down to a schedule uh, because things happen. Well, things happened. And <clears throat> I, yeah, anyway. Um, so I got this planner thinking that it was going to help me get my life in order if, during, with my YouTube channel. Um, this, pl <laughs> this planner came all the way from Jamaica. It took forever to get here. It was not cheap. It's huge. It's a huge planner. It's heavy. It's spiral bound. I wanted something spiral bound. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is called the YouTube 12 month content planner. Okay. I thought this was so something totally different than what it is. This is for, um, serious YouTubers, like serious, like, Cinnamon Stitches serious planning, planning, planning. Um, this is not me. Uh, I was so disappointed. Not because of the planner. The planner is fantastic for people who are co very consistent with what they're doing. They write everything down, what they're doing in their videos. They, they planned it all out. This is way over the top for me, way over the top. Um, I'm probably not going to use this because it's just, I mean, it's got a monthly exp expense, um, income tracker. It's got, um, it, it talks about, um, what are you talking about? The, the weekly planner is about the only thing that I would use in here. I should have got her other book. Um, she has smaller books that would probably have suited me better. Uh, like their video planner. There's a video checklist. There's something in here talking about... Um, uh, your... What do you call them? Sponsors, sponsorships and, um, networking and affiliate trackers. And I don't have any of that, you know? So this is like way, way over and above what I need. Um, this is for like serious professional crochet crowd kind of, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I was kind of disappointed when I got it. So, um, yeah, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I, I've got to give it to somebody that can use it because <clears throat> it's a really good book if that's what you're looking for, but it's just not what I'm looking for. I think she's got, she has some other smaller kind of, um, planners, I, what I need is like a monthly calendar, you know, that I can just put down, okay, let's do this video for this week or, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm darn it. I, I really wish I could have used this, but this is so over my spectrum of my YouTube channel. So I don't know, maybe I'll send it to Jennifer. She's all about doing the planner stuff. Hey, Jennifer, if you're watching this, do you want this? Because, um, I'd really, I don't want to see it go to waste. Um, and I really want it to go to someone who's, you know, <clears throat> professional. 
<laughs> which is something I am so not. Um, yeah, so anyway, so that's, uh, that's that. Um, what else? Uh, I've been watching a few, quite a few channels. Um, I just watched uh, Lynette from Charm Grammy. Oh my good Lord, girl. Her and Heather the Crochet Witch. My God. They have so many projects on the go. I can't even focus on one. I am such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> I just, you know, like they've got like the cows and mouths and, you know, like all this stuff that they're working on. And I'm like, I can't even get this bloody blanket finished. You know, it's like I've got uh, the, the scooty that I was making um, for uh, Billy gave me some faux fur that I was going to put on a scooty. I got the scooty done. The scooty and the faux fur are sitting beside my chair and they've been there for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> uh, all I have to do is put the fur on. Have I? No. Why? Because I just haven't had the energy. <clears throat> and I was going to show that to you. I'm working on it. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the, I made George a sweater. I had the front and back done. I ran out of yarn. So I ordered some more yarn from Hobie. I'm waiting for that to come in. Whenever that comes in. Um, then I got to finish the sleeves and then it's done. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't know if I'm losing my Crojo. Um, I have ideas. I have things I want to do, but this cold just, oh, kicked my butt. And I'm just absolutely, I have no energy to do anything. If you could see this room right now, oh my good Lord. I had stuff put in here at Christmas time that I was getting in and it's all stockpiled here. <sighs> and I'm just, like I said, the house is in disarray. This room, I just, oh, I, I, I don't even know. I don't know how I'm going to get through all this you know, stuff of trying to organize and everything when I have no energy. Um, Sandy Duda. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love that woman a bit. Um, here she is on her cruise and she's called me twice to find out how I'm doing. Bless her. Um, I, I told her, I says, what are you doing phoning me? You're supposed to be on your cruise. You and John and Octavia are supposed to be having a good time. You're not supposed to be thinking about me. And she's like, of course I'm thinking about you. I worry about you. And I'm going, seriously, go enjoy. Go have a drink for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, uh, and then she was about, she was going to be losing reception. Um, because of where they were going. And uh, she wanted to call me. She had no idea that I had COVID. She, <clears throat> she knew I wasn't feeling well, but she had no idea. I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to enjoy her vacation. Um, she didn't, I don't think she saw any videos or anything like that. But when she called me and she heard my voice, she, panicked and she was like oh is this covid and i'm like i'm fine <laughs> everything's fine <laughs> she's like don't lie to me and i'm like okay look this is what it is i'll be okay go have a good time Right. And her being the person that she is and the big heart that she is she she worried about me um, guaranteed the minute she lands back home, she probably won't even be out of, out of the fricking boat state at uh, the ship station. She's going to be calling me. I know it. Um, 
She's a far better friend to me than I have been to her, I swear. <laughs> like, oh, God. So anyway, <clears throat> she's having a great time. Uh, <laughs> she's saying that Octavia has been a naughty girl. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there could be. She almost got, you know, taken by a seagull, you know, and stuff. I'll let her tell you the story, but. <clears throat> yeah, Octavia's up to her old tricks. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so uh, she's supposed to be coming in May. Oh, I am just in a panic about that because this house is just a freaking disaster. And I'm hoping, I mean, I know that May is a, a bit of a ways away, but in reality, it's not like it's, you know, it's not that far. And, <clears throat> you know, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm just panicking because our, our COVID protocols and everything are so different from what's going on down in the States that I'm hoping that I can actually go do stuff with her. You know, that'll really suck if she's here for five days and we haven't been able to leave the house. I, I will be so mad, but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Anyway, okay, this has been like 26 minutes of me blabbing about nothing. Um, I have some exciting news, though, and I will be doing another video on that. Uh, again, thank you so much for your well wishes. I'm getting all the messages. <clears throat> Even though YouTube has been taking some comments off. I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hearting, I'm at least hearting, uh, hearting um, all the comments. So I'm really hoping that I got everybody. But I'm, I'm starting to see comments that I'll click on it and they'll say comments no longer there. Uh, so I can't tell if it's someone's deleted their comment or if it's YouTube. So anyway, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I guess I will talk to you later because <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Okay. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.